Hello guys, this is Leather Tools. Today I'm going to review a leather craft tool. Uh, this is a leather awl and this is made by Scott Gabriel from East Coast of US. Now um, let's talk, uh, see a detail about this awl from the handle. Okay, now uh, this handle is made of a lignum vitae. Okay, it's made of heaviest and made of um, one of the heaviest and one of the densest wood in the world okay it has very good luster finish you know it it has been lacquered or anything it's just um, a natural polish comes out you know from you know sanding to the finest grit okay uh, it has very greenish and yellowish color and it will become darker after it oxidizes from the you know oxygen and moisture. It's very oily wood, so you don't have to really treat the wood while you're using them. Now, this handle almost resembles like Ron's edgers, but it's different. Um, they Ron's edgers have one groove with uh, thin thin lines, and they have more like a kind of a bowl shape of you know curve to it but this one does not you know this shape is all um, just resembles the you know old lead tools from you know GOMP or CS Osborne and you know from the companies and very you know traditional vintage style shape handle okay I'll show you guys a uh, close-up look uh, it's been fogged wait a guy. <laughs> Okay. Now, see fine detail of work he does. You know, line is very crisp. Yeah, he does very good job on the uh, wood. You know, it's very uniform, has no blemish, and on the back, it has no lathe mark. He all, he just, uh, you know, creates this all from uh, lathe. You know, he has wood shop, wood working shop, and the metal working shop. He even made this collar or ferrule for himself. Uh, you know, it's uh, made of a nickel silver, and it's very, very nicely done. Check it out, you know. And very good quality made in USA, uh, you know, pin bias at the tip. You know, you can change the blade if your blade breaks or you want to change to the round hole. You can just untighten these and you can just um, take out these. You can, you can just put another uh, blade to it, you know. I will show you in a minute. Now just look at that. It's beautiful beautiful handle it's very nice it's very nice uh, the overall length from from the here to here it's about 11.5 centimeter long and this part is about 3 centimeter long so it's about 3 centimeter thick but it melts in my hand okay it melts just um, you know while you just working in a pony or you know seller's cramp clamp you can just you know just use like that and the blade here is from Blanchard okay he actually sharpens himself this very sharp okay and the bottom portion here where the um, collar is holding it's not you know it's not sharpened so it's it's left for your preference I like my uh, oils to be very you know thin you know thin but um, strong enough to hold the you know force but uh, he didn't sharpen the uh, the bottom portion he just sharpened the tip so if you are working with um, thin leather this should do good okay it's only sharpened about a uh, one centimeter long so 
uh, you know, it's sharp enough just to easily penetrate leather. Okay, it just pen it it goes, you know, through leather like nothing. Okay, it is very sharp, and you know, he 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 sharps sharpens the O very nicely. Okay, it does come in sharpened. Okay, so it's a Blanchard O blade so you don't have to worry about the quality um, Blanchard old blade is um, pretty nice uh, I've been using it for years and I have no problem with it okay just you know it's easily penetrates the leather okay even though this is very thin I can see that it's very sharp it's just very sharp okay it's sharpened properly so just once you get it, you can just use it as it comes out of box, okay? Uh, and the wood, he doesn't have, I, I'm not sure if he does have any more of uh, Lignum Vitae in his stock, but he has a several um, old stock of a rose wood. So if it's, if you, if you want to willing to buy one, uh, I think a rose wood will be, uh, you know, the uh, one of the best shot for oh, he, uh, the O, um, and uh, he doesn't take custom orders. Uh, I actually I contacted him to uh, make O for uh, you know my design and specific you know shape, but uh, he didn't you know take the orders from me because uh, he just enjoys making, he just enjoy making this letter O. For himself, and then he just feels like what he wants to make, and then if someone's like like it, you can buy from him. Okay, uh, I'm going to uh, you know tell you how to buy this all from him in the later part of the video. But anyway, that's how it's done. So you can't really have all that may have looked like this or that okay you just have to follow what he you know what he makes okay he doesn't do this for living or he doesn't do this for um, you know small business so he doesn't really care if he sold sales or not so you know that's how it goes okay performance is great so now let's take apart this you know color oops sorry Okay, easily turns by hand. Now, it's easily taken out. It's five centimeter long, a um, Blanchard all okay? And it's just, um, you know, they're just great. You can change to, you know, have different all blade or just um, round all you can have that it's tightened to very thin so you can fit any of the most of all blade on the market I think not to thick I'll show you guys how how it's going to be the this is the largest it can get okay so basically this shape is a a diamond all so you can fit, you know, this, you know, what should I say, the width of the, you know, from here to here, you can fit the old blade like this. Okay, so it can be straightened up. Okay, like that. You know, being the old blade straight to the handle is very important to me because I really want to, you know, strike the holes vertically as possible, but you know some O's if you are um, lucky or unlucky you will have O's you know play goes like this or this okay that's very annoying okay you know sometimes you can strain it for yourself but while you're straining it you can really easily the blade break the blade okay so I really like the fact that you can really you know adjust just by you know looking and then you can turn turn the knob you know it's very easy and it's it's supposed to be you know straight because the way it works it just makes it straight as 
you know, as machine can be, because the collar has the tip, you know, like that. So you can just have a straight hole as possible. See that? It's a dead straight. Okay. So that's why I really, you know, recommend this type of um, you know system on your all okay and um, the fact that I mentioned about breaking the blade okay while you're working with the um, leather blade leather craft all you know this uh, leather um, all blade sometimes it breaks okay if you are be really careful you can't really you know have one all and use it for your lifetime but sometimes it breaks okay and what the problem is that the old shape you know the old that you used to use for what five years ten years your hand is so get used to that handle that if you buy new old from the even though same from the same company if you just handle that old you will feel different and you need time to get used to that new old but this one if you I if I get just used to this handle and then if the old breaks I will just replace the new blade and then I'm all ready to go okay the handle it just it's going to last 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 forever I will just pass down to generation to generation okay um, this being a oily wood you don't have to treat okay you don't have to really care about this wood you just sometimes you know uh, rub rub down some uh, linseed oil and that's you know just perfect for the uh, oil this wood okay so wood that's going to last a lifetime and this chuck will going to last a lifetime just need a spare blade for the oil even even if you don't have a blade you can just make one right you can make one from the pins or high pins you know things like that but um, anyway just you know my I think this is like perfect setup for my all you know I think this is going to be a last all you know for the leather craft I never had this kind of fit you know to my hand about leather all it just feels solid it just feels solid and grippy you know oily wood doesn't mean it's very oily on the surface I mean sometimes oily wood can be really oily to your hand but I mean oily into the content of the wood okay it's not that slippery okay it's not slippery on the handle it's just you know good has a good grip it just feels solid and it smells nice okay the oils natural oils coming out from the uh, wood has very good scent to it you know so it smells very nice you can smell it in your hand too anyway okay and the fact that you can untie untight these with the hand and tighten this with the hand is very good feature if you use tool to tighten this all I mean call I mean or should I say a vice uh, then you need to have another tool to just untie it okay but that requires more space and more you know just um, you know hassle so I just you know on tighten this with the great force of a hand then after that you can unchange untighten this with the hand so it's very nice uh, the fact that it's hand done is very nice and um, yeah it's very nice just have a group to have very grippy and grippy just amazing and then you can you can see have rest the bottom is kind of a flat roundish flat so you can rest on your uh, end of a palm and then you can use or penetrate or you can use yeah like that to you know just um, if you just lay on your project and you can just make a hole just perfect perfect you know okay you guys wonder how much this always be right okay now I'll tell you um, this I got uh, this is for the lignum vitae is hundred dollar US dollar okay 
for um, he would have several kinds of a old stock road suit and that cost 85 US dollar and free shipping within US okay so regular wood like road suit he will charge you 85 US dollar and free shipping in US okay and rare special ones like lignum vitae or any other kinds of a special or rare one of a kind you know wood he will charge US hundred dollar plus shipping fee okay so it's going to be more than hundred dollar US hundred dollar okay and he only sells to domestic address only at the time right now okay he only ships to uh, within the US continent US address so if you are living outside the US uh, you can't really you know buy this okay so um, you can ask for him if you really really want but uh, he right now he's only selling in the US continent only and um, he told me that he don't want to show you know expose his email to the uh, out in the public because he's you know just don't want to get his address to the spammers so uh, the way to contact him is a two-way okay either you can contact him in the leather worker forums uh, his uh, nickname is slip angle or you can email me to ask him his email okay so I will give you his email so would you just send me an email that he you would like to know his email and then I will just you know let him know or I will just send you his email address okay that's how it's going to be done you know he want to filter some spammers out there okay now uh, uh, that's about it you know that was really nice you know oh um, that's I think it's going to be my last oh I will use you know it's just um, it feels it feels very feels right okay it feels very nice you know lignum vitae on the end oh by the way there are some you know none this is genuine lignum vitae okay this is not the Argentine stuff. Okay, this wood what I have is Argentine lignum vitae, and this is not a lignum vitae. It's actually it's a completely different wood. I believe this is wood is wood called Barra wood. Okay, it feels grain structure looks very familiar so many guys will just think that this is um, lignum vitae but this is not okay this wood is a vera wood okay this is stuff called argentine lignum vitae but this is actually not it's a substitute okay it's it's a green color from the exposure to oxygen and the um, sunlight moisture and stuff Let's see there's a color difference and uh, there is a um, grain difference too this is going to be a whole other video but um, I just want to mention that this is a genuine lignum vitae and this is Argentine lignum vitae a um, Vera wood. This is not the genuine stuff. This is substitute. Okay. All right. So okay. This was a all from Scott, and I hope you liked the video. And if you really, really want to buy this wood, I mean all, just contact me, and I will let you know his a easy his email address, and he would be happy to just sell you. Oh, sorry, I, I had to say this, but you can't really get the stuff what you like I mean get the stuff what you want to make uh, be okay you can not custom order all to him okay uh, what it will what he's going to do is that if he, uh, you send him an email that he's going to put you in an email list okay so there's a lineup people line up to, from A to B to C D E F Z and then 
if you just send him an email, he will put you in a list. And then he will make a bunch of owls, you know, pictures of owl, and he will send you uh, pics that's going to last for sale. And then if you like one of them, you can just pick one. Oh, I like this one. And then he will sell, he will sell it to you. Okay? And then if you don't like any of these in the uh, picture, you can just say pass and then the the guy who's next to your list will get the same uh, emails in the pictures that if he likes or not. Okay, and then the uh, after it goes to the uh, bottom of the list and he makes a, another O, he will just go to the top of the person, top of the list who didn't buy uh, the O yet then he would you know you can just check what is new and if you like it you can just pick one and but if you don't like it the next person will see the list and if you like it you know if the next person like it he will just get the one he likes it and then without without that all uh, the rest of all will be to shown to the next person so pick what you like at when you turns comes and then you can just buy buy it okay um, I, like I said before he doesn't do this um, making all business uh, for um, for living so he might stop making this all okay once he ma doesn't make one you can't get one so okay so you know you never know so if you want to buy it you know think wisely and think quick think quickly okay you while well, I know by the while the supply runs okay you know I just had to grab the chance to buy this all because it looked very comfortable and then it is comfortable it melts in my hand I really like this traditional you know design you know this is also you know this chuck is very you know you know from you know many many years of um, workers you know metal engineers metal workers use this chuck so both of the reliable stuff you know he knows what he's doing so that's about it okay it was a long video but uh, don't forget to subscribe and put thumbs up to my video if you want to support me okay okay that was about it thanks for watching and I will see you in next video bye bye